Hey everyone, let's talk about fiddle tunings in old time music. First of all, of course, we're going to start out with standard tuning. Standard tuning, we play G tunes, we play A modal tunes, we play D tunes sometimes. Um, and obviously, you can play in any key on standard, <laughs> but um, those are the main keys we're going to be using. Sometimes we'll play an F or B flat in old time music as well. Uh, but mostly, if you're in standard, you're going to be playing in G, C, or A modal, D, some F, and some B flat. Okay. Let's have a listen to standard tuning here. We've got A. We've got E. We've got D. And we have G. So from low to high, we have G, D, A, and E. Okay, that's standard tuning. The next tuning we're going to look at is called high bass or D tuning. Uh, this is a tuning that we use to play D tunes in and specifically I guess it's called high bass because our lowest string, which isn't really a bass string on the violin, but the closest thing we have to a bass string um, is higher. That's the only string that we're kind of altering out of standard tuning. So our G string has been tuned up to an A and then we have just our standard D, A, and E. So let's have a listen. We've got A, just A440. We have E, where it normally is. D, where it normally is. And our G string, our quote unquote bass string, tuned up to an A. So that kind of gives us a little bit of extra resonance uh, in harmony with the key of D. Alright, our next tuning for old time music, this is a very popular tuning, this is Cross A. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you all to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. And if you're looking for a bunch of other fiddle lessons, I have over a hundred lessons now on my Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash George Jackson. Please support these videos there and you can access tons of extra lessons. Alright. What do we do? We have our E and our A string exactly the same as in standard tuning. But our D and our G string have been tuned up a tone. So our D string is now an E and our G string is now an A. So that makes it A, E, A, E. So it repeats in octaves. We've got a low A, E and then we have a higher A, E. Okay, let's have a listen to each of those strings. So this is cross A. There's our A, our normal A, which is just at the regular pitch, A440, E string, our higher string. Now our D string, which is now an E. 
and our G string which is now an A. From low to high, A, E, A, and E. Now with this particular tuning, we can do it in a number of different ways. Uh, this is just called cross A um, or A cross and you can do a version of this in other keys as well, like cross G, which would mean that we would go G, D, G, D, and that would require us leaving our G and D string where they are and tuning down our A string and our E string down a tone to G and D. And that gives it a little bit of a lower tension sound rather than the sort of higher tension sound of this A, E, because we're tuning our strings up in this A cross A, whereas in the cross G, we're tuning our strings down um, on the higher side. So that's a lower tension version. Um, there are people that will tune even lower than that sometimes. Late night at Clifftop or something, you'll get cross F or cross E. That can be a, a lot of fun. Really lowering the tension of the strings makes things a lot softer and lower. Um, and that's quite fun to do. Probably not often going to tune it higher than A, but sometimes maybe people might tune up to a B flat and do a cross B flat. But when you're in cross tunings like this, um, it's going to be the strings repeated, whether that's A, E, A, E, or G, D, G, D, or F, C, F, C, something like that. Okay, our next closest tuning to cross A is going to be this tuning here where we have our E string tuned down to a C sharp. Most of the time this is called calico tuning. I'm not actually sure why it's called calico tuning, but I think that's kind of a pretty name for it. Our tuning is A, E, so again we have our G string and our D string tuned up a tone where it was in cross. We have our A string right where it normally is, A440, and our E string is tuned lower now to C sharp. So we really have that A major chord there, A, E, A, C sharp. Let's have a listen to those notes. A, A440, our regular A string. Our E string is at C sharp, so that's tuned down a, down a minor third, from E to C sharp. Our D string is up to an E, and our G string is up to an A. Okay, the next tuning that we're going to look at is called G Dad. That's pretty self explanatory. It kind of spells out the tuning. We've got G and then we've got Dad. D A D. So in this tuning, our G, D, and A strings are all where they're normally at in standard tuning. And it's our E string that's just been tuned down a tone to D. Now, we can play tunes in G and D in this tuning. Most often it's G tunes that we'll be playing, but sometimes D tunes as well. Let's have a listen to those notes. We've got A, our regular A at 440. Our E strings tuned down to a D. 
D string is where it normally is, D. And G string is also where it normally is, at G. From low to high, G, D, A, D. G dad. Okay, the next tuning is D dad. All right, again, self, pretty self-explanatory. Um, spells out the tuning here. We have D and then D, A, D. D dad. Three Ds, are you serious? Yes, three Ds. Okay, our D and our A string, they are still at the pitches that they normally would be in standard tuning. A440 and D, fifth below. Our G string, has been wildly tuned down all the way to a D. So tuned down a whole fourth lower. Now that's just gonna be mostly a droning string. And then above we have our E string tuned down to a D also. So this is a really nice drony kind of tuning and we're almost certainly always going to be playing D tunes in this tuning. Let's have a listen to those notes. We've got A where it normally is at 440. We have E down to a D. D where it normally is. And G all the way down to a low D. That one kind of gets kind of funky. But you want to try and just kind of line it up as best as you can with the with the unison and the octave D. From low to high, we have D, D, A, and D. D dad. Okay, I've got one last tuning to show you just for fun. This is the weirdest fiddle tuning that I know for old time music. And as far as I know, there's only one tune really that, that is played in this tuning. And uh, that tune is called We're Gonna Hunt the Buffalo. It's one that I play on tour with Jake Blunt. And so I'm gonna share this little tuning with you. It's a bit of fun. We've tuned our G string up to a B note. Oh my gosh, a whole major third up. It's kind of scary to do that because you might break a string. So be careful if you're gonna try this. Then we have our D string up a tone to an E. We have our A string down to a G and then our E string down to a B, all the way down to a B, so a fourth lower. It's a sort of weird mix of tuning our strings way up and tuning our strings down. Let's have a listen to this. So our A string is now a G, so that's tuned down. Our E string is tuned down to a B. And our D string is tuned up to an E. And our G string is tuned all the way up to a B. So from low to high, we have B, E, G, B. It's kind of an E minor tuning. <laughs> 